All right, got the Dynam Grand Cruiser on deck right now. I believe this is a uh, mock-up of the little Cessna 310. This will be my second flight of the day with it. Um, I did put the carbon fiber underneath it, and the flight I did well ago was uh, much better. However, again, with Dynam Retracts, it was a little cool. It's warmed up a little bit now. Sun's out good. Got about, uh, my phone says it's right at 49 degrees, so we're right at the cusp of the gears working reliably. So we're going to give it a try. Low rates on uh, ailerons, mid on the elevator, high on the rudder. And here we go. Wind is very variable. I'm just going to take off to the north. Avoid the sun. Alright, here we go. Coming out. Back pressure. We're up and away. Gears are up. That was no flaps. Close to full throttle on the takeoff. I can tell you with the uh, spars in the wings, it definitely makes a difference on the way this thing handles. It's absolutely got rid of that pool noodle effect. We'll go on to the mid rate and try to do a roll. I probably got all my little miniature passengers screaming. That was just on mid rates on the aileron. Again, this is far from a speed demon. This is high speed max throttle right there. What I'm finding is that if you vary your throttle from half to full, uh, you'll get easily five minute flights out of this. Uh, good, it flies on a 3S 2200. So that's, I don't know, in my opinion, that's just pretty good to run a twin motored plane for five minutes on a 3S 2200. These are not strong 2200 packs that I'm using. Uh, they're good ones, they're Gen's Ace, but they're only about 15 to 20 C discharge. I forget exactly how much, but they weren't very uh, very high drain. I think I picked them up on sale for like $11 each, 11 and change. Back around the uh, this past Black Friday sale. And I neglected to modify my trims. Uh, or I should say my mix on the flaps so we're not going to try those again this flat flight we already know what it does it drops the nose pretty significantly unless you go into high if you go into high it's not bad here here's a high you see it drops the nose when you come out of it the nose lifts right back up so I got a little too much down elevator in the mix. I meant to fix that, but unfortunately I forgot. Slow speed here in front of us. Definitely need to balance out the props and probably the spinners as well. Just got a pretty good little uh, wiggle to them and get quite a bit of noise going too. So I will probably try to take care of that here in the next week or two.
This is flying on a Spectrum AR610 receiver, by the way. So there's no gyro or anything like that in it. No safe, no AS3X. Dynam is trying to improve their planes. But there's still a few things that they're not doing. And as a hobbyist, we would, you know, I, I, myself, listen, I, I, if I'm going to spend $150, $200 on a plane, I really want it to work lock, stock, and barrel right out of the box. I don't really like the idea of spending $200 on a plane, or in this case, yeah, I think this was like $179, $169. I don't like spending $180 and buy a battery $200. Bucks. And then have to turn around and spend another fifty to a hundred dollars for upgrade parts. And rather they just put it into the yep, all three gears deployed that time, so that's marvelous. Again, temperature's up a little warmer. And our wind has changed directions again, so I'm just gonna land north to south. Our timer went off a while ago. No flaps on this. Again, mainly because the flaps are uh, causing a big ballooning issue. Well, I should say opposite of ballooning, they're causing a nose dive issue. All right, Dynam Grand Cruiser. As we taxi in, watch those wings. That carbon fiber really made a difference in that. Before, it was like a pool noodle. Now it's nice and rigid. Probably could have got it a little stiffer with a little bigger carbon fiber rod, but it worked out okay. All right, Dynam Grand Cruiser. Thanks for watching.